All right, I'm gonna be uploading a quick video of uh, me feeding my dart frogs. Uh, first thing you really want to do whenever you have your, whenever you're feeding your dart frogs is um, you want to get your supplements, uh, just a pinch of whatever you're using. Um, I would use an all-in-one like Renarium, Dendrocare, Rapeshi. I'm not sure what their all-in-one is. Uh, Barkan, I vi a Vital. Um, I think Tinkman makes some. There's a lot of different places you can get all-in-ones, and then you want a carotenoid supplement, um, something like. I, th I think I have Renarium Cartanoid Plus, and then from then on, you want, or or, or another, um, there's a different, I'm pretty sure, um, Rapache is called Super Pig, um, Tinkman makes them, uh, there's a bunch of different companies, I'm sure I don't know, a lot of, a lot of European companies, but, um, you add, like, maybe a tiny pinch of carotenoid, of your carotenoid supplement with your all-in-one, or you can just feed it separately, it's up to you, but if you have, like, let's say a red frog, like I do, like, these are Pampa Hermosas, uh, they're going to, they have, they have redheads, so that'll bring out the red color a little bit, or it's anecdotal, but, um, I have, my, my frog's colors have popped, um, so I, I don't think that it's, uh, not without a little bit of merit, and, uh, so yeah, you dump a good amount of flies, I'd say 10 or 15 for every, um, small frog, uh, that's just kind of what I shoot for, and you can eyeball it, so this looks like about, mm, 40, 50, 60 maybe for me, they haven't, I think, I didn't, I don't think I fed them yesterday, I might have, but, um, yeah, and you just want to oversaturate the tank with flies, and I don't see any flies running around the tank right now, uh, which kind of tells me that, okay, yeah, they're due for a, uh, a good feeding, good, uh, so, second thing you want to do is look around, you want to check, make sure that none of the frogs are hiding anywhere, mine like to hide in this bromeliad, they like to hide right there, so that's always a fun place to look for, they like to hide behind, behind this bromeliad in that corner, and in that bromeliad, in that film canister, in that bromeliad, um, there's a couple film canisters, there's a film canister back here, they like, they like to hide in that one, they like to hide in these, um, but really you just want to be concerned about, um, escape options, I don't really have a cup with me, which may not be a great idea, um, well actually, I do, but, um, I'm not gonna worry about that right now, so, all right, I'm gonna, Position this in a spot where you can kind of see what's going on. Let's see if you can see any frogs. Uh, you can see the poop on that leaf. Oh, there's a little redhead. Can't tell. Yeah. So nothing really right now. That's my misting tube. So now I'm just going to kind of look around, make sure that nobody's hiding anywhere. You really want to be careful about their legs, too, if they're hiding up close to the glass. So... I'm gonna unlock it. You wanna section it off, um, make sure that only half of the tank is open, and the, this door on the right comes off first before the left one can. So, just kinda wanna look, be very careful. And um, you kinda wanna throw the flies in from your cup, just kinda chuck them in, make sure they're all kinda down in the corner. And... No, I need to make sure it came off all the way. Okay, so they, they can get through any crack practically, so you really want to be ready as soon as, uh, as soon as you open the door. Uh, having a fun time with this door. And... So all of those flies come streaming from there and kind of run around. I kind of miss my throw. I would have liked them to be on the ground, but that's even better because they can climb on those wood pieces and um, the frogs will find them. They'll find them regardless. Uh, that's another thing, though, is that if you put them in a bromeliad or something like that, you have to make sure you clean it out every once in a while. I haven't done that since I built this tank, so I don't really know if you have to, but it might be a good practice just so that it, just so it's not toxic. Um, for your animals, uh, they want to reside in there, and I don't really see anybody. They can hide very, very deep inside of the vermilion axles, and um, there's some film canisters I can't see. So, yeah, they'll get to hunting them pretty soon, but that's the way I feed it. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, <clears throat> only real pointers is... Um, Main pointers, at least when feeding frogs, is find the right size fly. These are melanogaster. They're the smaller of the two. 
High day is normally the other one fed to larger species, like larger omelets, such as uh, histrionic, or histrionicas, um, like Ufu Ufuaga, histrionicas, dendrobates, tinctorias, epidophates, adelphobates, all the big predators, um, granted to may are, granted being smaller, are going to need smaller prey, so melanogasters are a pretty good choice. I've heard people say Turkish gliders, uh, I've heard people say, um, there, there's, there's tons of different ones, uh, let's say, uh, there's tons of different strains, check out, uh, Houston frogs, they have, or, I think it's Houston, yeah, Houston frogs, and, uh, I'm not sure who else, but uh, they have a pretty in-depth... Oh, ooh, uh, any uh, New England herpticulture. That's one where I got these. Um, I really needed some flies, and they expedited them, so hu uh, huge thanks to them, because, I mean, that kind of saved me. Uh, this video is not sponsored by them. I know I might have to worry about that, but aside from that, um, yeah, just make sure you find the right fly. Find a quality supplement. There's really nothing bad on the market. Make sure it's targeted towards dart frogs, because there's a little bit of science behind it, so they'll... they'll They'll do a pretty good job of uh, kind of um, fine-tuning their supplement. Stuff like, uh, I think it's Reptical or something like that. Um, I mean, it, they're, they're, that's not targeted towards dart frogs. Those are targeted towards, like, larger um, reptiles who really need that extra calcium and stuff like that. So it's just potency. I don't think you could really go wrong, though, no matter what you choose. Pesci, Renarium, Tink Man, uh... Burke and Avital, tons of, tons of, uh, European companies that you could, uh, that, uh, you could buy from, <laughs> um, I'm trying to think, uh, who else makes supplements, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's not really who makes good supplements, it's who makes supplements, um, I've seen, uh, trends where people, uh, like to swap out their, um, like their supplement brands, so they'll, Let's say I'm using Renarium, they'll use Repeshi next because the they're not not all supplement uh brands are created equal and um like let's say let's say Renarium is really good at providing um certain vitamins like let's say vitamin A and vitamin B but it's natural so let's say it's not as good as providing something as calcium um that's why I use Dendricare because it's synthesized it's not natural but it's got what they really need in there uh Repeshi Repeshi pro uh could make different stuff. So it's, there's, the the point is, there's really nothing wrong you could do in terms of supplementing. It's just making sure that you do supplement and that you do feed. Um, you don't need to feed every day. I would, I do it myself. Um, every other day, I mean, it would be fine. Just make sure you're feeding heavily because um, dark frogs are high energy creatures. They're metabolizing things quickly. They're moving around. Um, so you just want to, Make sure that they're getting enough to eat. Uh, lots of different options in terms of feeding, but the best is probably um, fruit flies. I wouldn't feed, I mean, you could feed, um, I think Troy Goldberg had a crazy video of, um, I think it was some of his um, his mints, his uh, mint treeblis, they're white. He was feeding them spiders coated in uh, um, supplements. And those are larger frogs. Those are going to eat, take, the, and those are going to and can take down larger prey. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you, you really want to feed spiders as your main food or crickets. Crickets can bite frogs. Um, I don't think it would be too much of an issue, but you don't want to feed, especially like crickets, because that cricket will grow up um, and it could pose a threat to your frogs. Um, springtails, um, isopods. I have dwarf whites. Um, I have springtails, I have, sil uh, like, think like they're blue and silver, mini isopods, I don't know the name, uh, dwarf white isopods, um, just tons of food, microfauna, they can kind of chow down on if you're not there, um, this little grow out right here has tons of springtails, um, I can just kind of open, open it up, and, uh, they're just, yeah, like, there's a couple of big ones in there, I need to kind of miss this, let me, uh, I need to grab my mister, but, um, the point still stands. Um, lots of good food, just particulate stuff that um, will move around, small, easy to read. Um, fruit flies and uh, springtails, ice pods, not necessarily ice pods, maybe the smaller species, but springtails, uh, you don't, you're, or an ice pods, you're not going to feed those with supplements, but um, those are good uh, kind of stuff uh, that's good to have them in there just so they can snack on stuff. Because fruit flies, dark, um, fruit flies, springtails, uh, all that stuff will not provide. Uh, the 
nutrients that the frogs need on up alone that is um in the wild they're eating so many different things um from natu- from things that are eating natural things that they're getting the, those inadvertently these flies are fed fruit fly media which probably doesn't isn't bad i mean that probably has some good stuff in there but uh um it's not it, the point stands that it's not going to be everything that they need so um if i have any pointers uh, to finalize this video is uh find a good quality food so find which kind of spring t- or find which kind of um fruit flies you need um introduce springtails and isopod populations um into the tank just as kind of cedars um cedars not feeders um find a good supplement there's really no wrong you could do and make sure to feed you're you could this i mean you could do everything right and not feed and your frogs will suffer feed 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 that is the most important thing for obvious reason but the it's still there the frogs hold no aesthetical value over the tank they don't care what it looks like um as long as they can hide reproduce i mean that's that's all they want uh you need to provide stuff that allows them to uh and you don't you need to provide them with that but also you need to provide food i'm kind of spiraling now but uh, i'm going to touch on one last point i had a big 18, 18 24 and i had a pair of ranitsmea I think at Doobies, I think they were, it was too big for them and they couldn't find their food. So that's why I think people kind of emphasize grow out. Um, like saying, okay, keep it, keep them in a smaller tank. I have four soon to be adult, uh, Pompa Hermosus in there. They're pretty good size already. Um, but, uh, yeah, I have four of them and they're, they're, they're growing out and I'm going to move them into the 18, 18, 24, but I'm establishing them in a small tank where there's food constantly. Uh, make sure that they're available, the food is available to them. And, uh, I mean, that concludes this video. Um, I don't see anybody kind of running around. Yeah, looking for flies. They come, they come as soon as I leave the room, which is kind of funny. But, uh, I know, I know one of them is in here in this bromeliad. I know one of them is below, behind those plants back there. Them in the ground. Uh, or I know two of them are behind here. I saw. Oh, is that? I can't tell if that's behind or not. It's kind of difficult. That might be. Oh, I found one. Okay, he's right back there. Yeah, you see him. A little bit. That's one. Let's see if I can tell if that's two. That's not two, but one's one's behind this familiar. So they're kind of waiting for me to leave, and uh, so they can be fed. But that'll conclude this video. I uh, hope you enjoy and. Uh, Thanks for tuning in.